Okay, I'm gonna program these TPS sensors. They're the TS01s I just swapped out. They're by CG Solit, I guess. CG S U L I T 430 or 3 or 315 hertz. So I have the Altel ITS 600E plugged into my Mercedes. The dongle is right there. Here's the unit. So I'm gonna to go to TPMS. Then I'll go to Accept. This VIN has a history. Yes. Let's see it. So let's go to diagnose. Now it's talking with the dongle and the OBD2 port. So here it's showing that all my TPMS sensors, which those are the identification symbols, they're all, let's go to details. Checking details, there's obviously a problem because it has uh, codes. And there we go. Uh, lamp stored and or current. It says communication of the tire pressure has malfunctioned. So all of them and are the same except for the last one. It's not um, even finding it. So good thing we're putting new ones in. So I have the TS-01 sensors installed in the wheel. And I'm going to show you that this reads them. Right now, it's uh, it's showing us Mercedes. It's uh, set to 433 uh, hertz, and I'm just going to uh, check it. So, put it within four inches, and then go to uh, check maintenance sensor. Oh, yes, check. There we have it. And it's showing the sensor ID, the hertz, uh, the hardware, the software. Obviously, you guys can read. I'm not going to regurgitate all that to you. But... So that's currently what it's reading in the sensor. So now I'm going to show you guys how to program it. So take your Altel or whatever. This is for the Altel here. Select programming. And I've already put these sensors in. I didn't realize that the um, tires had to be flat or no air before you program them. So what I did is I've jacked them up. I took the valve cores out, released all the pressure, and now put them in. So both of the tires on the driver's side have no air. So um, just so you know. So don't be like me. Program them before you put them in. Hit okay, auto-create. Now it will ask you to keep the desired, yes, four feet away, or four inches, and then the, there's nothing else close. Yes. All right, there we have it. Cool. Now let's go back to the rear one and do that one. Rear tire. Boom. We'll select a left rear and then create. Okay. Sweet. Yes. Awesome. So now I'm just going to deflate the passenger side. Got it jacked up. for these to bleed off. Now we're gonna go ahead and program the passenger side front. So it's in programming mode. I'll hit passenger side front. It already brings it up. And then I'll hit auto create. Yes, I'll keep it close. Now it's learning that one. Yep, detected it. Sweetness. Now we're gonna do the last one. Select it there, it goes down to that one. Auto create. Yep. Alright. Continue, please. 
there we have it. So you can see all four new sensors are discovered and then they're in the black. And then this side here are all the old sensors. Now I'm just gonna reinstall the valve cores. All right, get it tight and a little turn after that. I tighten them and then when they like start to get tight, I give it about an eighth of a turn. All right, they just tightened up. All right, so now it is time to reinflate all the tires. I'm not gonna drag you guys through this, but just know I'm gonna put air in them right now. And so I've reinflated the tires. 37. Okay, so I got everything reading finally. Um, I was having a problem with the rear sensor, this left rear. It was saying duplicate sensor. I must have had it. Um, it must have been picking up the signal from the other sensor and it was reading that they were both the same number. So what I had to do is let the air out of this rear uh, left tire and then go into programming mode and then just select the tire. You can select the sensor right there. You can see it. And um, then I hit auto create and it Im and just then I triggered the sensor and it, it found it. So it's 596 is the sensor. Then I just hit copy by, or after the, it was already, um, it, it found it. I hit copy by OBD and it added it to the rest that were found. So everything's working cherry. So now if you, if we go back to um, check, you can see all four sensors are in there. Um, temperature's good, batteries are good. Hertz, golden, PSI is all good. Um, so yeah, so it's actually really easy uh, to set um, as long as you don't screw it up yourself, but it's easily correctable. All right, so there you have it. The sensors are in, programmed, and no TPMS light flashing or going beep, beep, beep. And to you Mercedes that wanted $500 per tire to change it out, I think I'll keep that $2,000. Thank you very much.